sleepers, how the devil are you? Okay, and today you join me on Dim Church Beach, where the churches are dim. I don't know what that means. I, I, don't, I doubt they are dim. I'm sure they're lovely churches. Uh, it's a very, very big beach. I've got a couple of really good hot spots here. Found a lot of jewellery on this beach in the past. Uh, quite a few rings, necklaces and things like that. And I have a little, a few points that I like to check out. I haven't been here for ages. The tide here goes right out. It goes right out. And I'm going to follow it out just for a couple of hours. Um, and it's going to be low tide at about eight o'clock. But you've got to be careful on this beach because the tide can come back round and you end up on little islands. It's got some strange riptides here as well. Even though the summer has gone, it's really quite busy here still. There's quite a few people, um, which is could be annoying because dogs come and attack you and children looking for treasure and stuff like that. But that's okay, I don't really mind that. It's when they start trying to nick your wallet, that's when it becomes a bit of an issue, you know? So I'm going to follow this tide out a little bit that way. And let's see... Uh, see what happens okay let's come to an agreement right now right i'm not going to film me finding any two peas or one piece from here on because there's going to be a lot of them and it's blooming boring for you and me so just presume i'm finding them i'll count them up at the end of the day now ha and what is this little treat before me it's like a toy of some sort fantastic I do like finding a good toy it gives me hours of pleasure hours it's some dude with a shield man look he's got a sh can i just Give him a bit of a clean up. Oh, I think it's like, it's like something from Game of Thrones. I don't think it is from Game of Thrones. I'll, I'm making it worse. Oh, come on. Yeah, look, he's got like a samurai sword there, I believe, a shield, maybe a, a, a oriental soldier of some sort. Fantastic, look at that. Best find ever, nearly. And a modern 10 piece, I believe. Yes, you are. Okay, good, good, good. And another 10 piece. Woo! The CS4PI is an absolutely amazing machine, and you're not going to miss anything with it because of the depth. You won't miss anything with it. But the problem with that comes with the fact of you could be digging holes down to 15 inches or so for a hair clip. God, it's hard work sometimes. Uh, and also you get lots of old rusty bolts, especially on Dimchurch Beach, I tend to get a lot of that stuff. Not so much down Folkestone or Dover way, but Dimchurch is like notorious for old bolts and just bits of old tack. So gee, be aware if you're using this machine on Dimchurch, get your muscles out. Oh, I'm gonna let that one off because there's a 20p and a penny in the same hole. Hey, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, and we have our first 5p of the day. Not bad. Yes! No! <laughs> no! No! The lens has come out and everything. Oh! Good look. Whoa, what's going on up there? There's a, there's a, <laughs> a seagull riot. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, you keep away from my glasses, you fools. I'm going to have to, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> that is fantastic. Okay. Uh, these are the best glasses ever. It's like, I don't know, I think that I could, I could definitely start some sort of trend here, can't I? That is amazing, look at that, that looks well cool. It's like if I need to read with this eye, I could just read, and then if I need to like look at stuff, not the sun, I just have to close this eye, and I can see everything which is... Now it's not going to work, is it? Now, ha! And a pound coin, yes! That's half my parking ticket paid for. Uh, yeah, nice, happy with that. And another 20p, sir! Yes, good, good. That one's seen better days, though, isn't it? But still a 20p, so I'm not going to grumble. And I do believe that is a pound coin. So that's my ticket paid for now. Unfortunately, I've been talking to too many people. I've only done about half an hour metal detecting. People are very, very curious about this hobby, aren't they? Uh, so I'm going to have to go put one of these back in the machine. <laughs> Well, there goes one of my quids. I should give him the really nasty one, really, but I can't find it. Ay, 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 ay. It's like right at the end of the day as well. It's so frustrating. Take it. Oh. What do you mean insufficient money? Oh, I've got to put another 20p in. I've got just the one. The really nasty beat up one. Should we see if it, let's see if it takes it. This isn't going 
going to go well, is it? He took it! Give me my ticket, you fool. Just a con, man. It's going to take me five minutes to walk to my car to put the ticket in. Words to live by on Dimchurch Beach. Beware motorised craft. Beware quicksand. Beware slippery. No, slipway. Beware groins. Beware weaver fish. Whoa. Beware horses. Or like seahorses. Yeah, and I do believe there's another 20p that's seen better days. Uh, good, good. Okay. Here's an idea of depth for you. Man. Whew. Okay, my arm goes all the way down to the elbow. Okay, so it better be, better be worth. Oh, God. Yeah, it's a penny. <laughs> oh, no way, oh, no way, oh, no way. I think I found a ring. It's definitely a ring. Oh, my God. Okay, uh, I'm on one of my like little points. This is like the fourth ring I've had up in this bit now. For some reason, it just seems to Put them over here. Is that a diamond? Well, it's not gold. I think it's silver, but it looks like it's got diamonds in it. Is that diamonds? I'm not sure. How do you tell if something's got diamonds in it or not? Uh, hold on. I'm gathering attention here. One sec. Okay, hold on a second. Let me just give it a quick clean up. Look out. Look, that's... I was always told that the CS4 PI was, finds it difficult to find thin metals and that was like some uh, depth down but it's definitely the thinnest, most thin ring that I've ever had. Uh, it's still, I'm pretty sure it's silver. Um, hold on, i just got to try and get the hallmark inside. Uh, yeah, there's a hallmark there and I think it says 925. Just about to see it. But I don't know how to, I don't know if, would you put diamonds in a silver ring? I don't know, would people do that? Uh, would it be worth it? I, I don't know. So how do I know if that's diamonds or not, guys? Can anybody help me? Because I have got no idea whatsoever. But it's still a ring. It's still a ring and it's still a good find. Yes, fantastic. Way and another 20p. So that means that I'm, I don't know how much though, but I just spent one pound 20 on another ticket. So well, how much have I spent altogether? So I've spent about three pounds on a ticket. Uh, not going well, I really hope they're diamonds. <laughs> ah, some sort of clothing tag, or a dog tag even, like a woof woof dog tag, not a fallen soldier dog tag. Uh, mm, it could be either actually. It's got no writing on it though, so I'll go for a clothing tag I reckon. And another 20p, not doing too bad for 20p today are we? Oh, thank you very much. Ooh, and a 50p sir. First 50p of the day, probably last as well. Oh that's good, happy with that. Well, that wasn't bad at all, was it? I got myself a samurai warrior dude, come on, potentially a diamond ring, and the money I'll have to count up in a minute. I, I don't think I'm gonna count the money up. I think it's probably about two quid. So I spent about three quid, to go three quid. Uh, I don't know, but that's one that I'm banking on. Anyway, on to your questions, my friends. So if you have any questions about my metal detecting channel or life in general, just ask in the comments below. Okay, I'm gonna need my specs to perform this particular task. Yeah, good, good, yes, that's better. Right, okay then, so questions. So first of all, 59 Acres asks, why do you wear underwear over your head and neck? Ah, you're talking about my buff, sir. Hang on, I'm gonna to have to take my glasses off. So this is a buff, right? And I admit, it does look like a kinky pair of underwear pants doesn't it uh, there you go buff there's the logo right there so what these do is these are microfibers so in in the cool they keep you warm and in the warm they keep you cool they're remarkable things they're extra extra stretchy so you can do lots of things with them so in that particular video I had one here like this because I wanted to keep the Sun off the back of my neck right uh, and the front of my neck you can do all sorts of things with them you can wear them I had it on my wrist at the time and the reason I had it on my wrist is to wipe sweat like that very very versatile things uh, you can you can even make yourself look like an old lady if you wanted to look fantastic the possibilities are limitless you know so you can also you can do all sorts of things with them you can turn them into a, a 
beanies if you want. You can just wear them like, I mean, it's basically they just keep weather out. You can wear it like that, have it like this, and put it like this, make it like a beanie. There you go, like that. Or sometimes when you're on the sand and the sand is blowing at you and going down your throat, you can just, oh, voila. Okay, so I've answered that question. Thank you, 59 Acres. Uh, okay, Seb Cole and quite a few other people have said, do you have a display cabinet at home? No, I don't have a display cabinet at home. I just put them safely away, all my finds safely away in boxes, really. I'm not really one for looking at stuff and collecting stuff. That's not why I do metal detecting. I do it because I like the adventure and I like being out and I like just, you know, and I like the point of where you find something. I like the point and I like researching things as well. But, but you know, I'm not one to have things out and look at things and go, oh, and ponder things like that. I might do when I'm a little bit older, but right now, no. No, so uh, they're all tucked away and hidden away safely. Barbara Bruv... I don't know what that's on. Barbara, I'm so sorry. I, I haven't written it down properly, but there's your name down there. Look. Can you make a video where you show your finds? A lot of people ask me this. They say, um, can you not just clean your finds up at the end of the video and then show us the finds at the end of the video? Once I've kind of like done the adventure and the edit, it's kind of like done. Um, sometimes it takes me weeks, months to, to clean up finds when I get the time to do it. It's mostly laziness, if I'm if I'm honest. But I, yeah, I will I will start. Like, I'm not going to do it at the end of videos, but I'll start. I started doing like a finds roundup thing. I'll start like just showing you the things that I found in the past. If you want me to, if that's if you want me to do that, I'll do that. Theo Richards Fisher asks, how old were you when you started? I was, I'm 40 now, so I was 36 years, 34. Daniel Hyde says, to your knowledge, what is your oldest thing found? That's a difficult question because to answer because you find a lot of things that are probably really, really old, like Iron Age things that date back thousands and thousands of years, but because they're so messed up and trashed that you can't identify them. So I'm gonna say, um, the first Roman coin I ever found, there's a video there, that's the first Roman coin I ever found there. And I think that the emperor, it was something like AD 49 to 16. I, I can't remember exactly what, what it was, but it was one of the early, early Roman coins. Oh, an outdoor family asked me exactly the same question there, but what's the old, your oldest coin? So, uh, exactly the same answer. Penguin Chick, what other hobbies do you have? I am a musician. Um, I'm a bass player and I teach bass on here on YouTube and I've got about 50,000 subscribers over there and I'm, I do all sorts of things. I write short stories and I, I do all sorts of things. If you want to check out my website, chrisrogers.com, there's a link below. You can go there and check out like other stuff that I do basically. <laughs> Okay, and 42 Atheist says, what is your favourite monarch to find? My favourite monarch to find? That's an interesting question. Um, I would say probably Victoria, actually, because I, it's just a nice portrait, isn't it? I think it's just well defined and it looks nice. And it's good to say, good day to you, Mom, too. So that's it, basically. I didn't really do much metal detecting today. I found that little beauty uh, and, a, and a ninja warrior, which I'm really happy about but I'm going to have to find out if they are diamonds or not. I didn't do much detecting because lots of people came and talked to me and spoke to me and I'm like, quite polite and I won't be horrible with people and if they've got questions I'll, I'll answer them and like loads of people so most of the day was like just chatting to people about things well, I'm happy to do that. It's good for the hobby as well isn't it? Anyway my friends thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next video. Shush you siren fool!